All right, hey, this is Bob's Trading Post. We haven't posted in a little while on here. I haven't been checking it regularly. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try to get back into it a little bit more. I kind of got so busy in the shop, I just kind of didn't have time to do the recordings anymore. But we're gonna try to get back at it. So we got some Red Fox hides here, and I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna shave one up. And in case anybody's not familiar, with uh, taxidermy and, and uh, tannin hides and things like that. Um, you'll be able to see just a quick little kind of demonstration here of, of uh, how we get our hides cleaned up, get ready to tan them. So these, these particular ones here are gonna actually gonna be made into fox hats, so I split everything, split everything open on them. Um, so it just it makes them a lot quicker to shave it makes them a lot easier to oil not having to flip them inside out and back right side out again it kind of just makes a makes the whole process go a little bit easier so you can see what we're looking at here so things like uh, this up here that's fat this is some fatty area here and then you can see all the kind of the the meat area here which is just all this right here is going to all come off so we're going to run this machine here and get that taken care of this is a dakota 5 fleshing wheel it's not the newest thing out there but it does work pretty well so first thing you're going to want to do when you go turn your wheel on you're going to want to find a little spot and just kind of try it out make sure Make sure it's set the way you want it to be. Tune it a little bit. Looks like we're gonna try that. All right, we're just gonna come up here. Start taking some of this stuff down. Kind of see what we're doing here. Cleaned up area, not cleaned up area.
Sometimes it's hard to get a good grip on these things. You know, these gloves are slippery. These uh, hides are wet. Just gotta kind of move it around, work it in there, stretch it, get underneath that little membrane there, get it off. I'm definitely by no means the best ever at this either. So if you're watching the video, there are people out there who have been doing it way longer, way better than me, uh, and things like that. So, but I mean, you know, if, if it's something you're into, it's something you like, and, and hopefully you can take something away from some of these videos I've done. I'm gonna try to, like I said, do do more more recordings, try to start keeping up a little bit better. I mean, there's, there's so much that goes on in here, but when you're trying to record and run things at the same time, it just, it's a little difficult for, for me. There we go, we're getting them. Belly, right along that edge. Pulling off these little strands. going to be the most critical that's going to be you know go down the middle it's going to be hat band uh, it could be the top of our hat that we're going to be making um, things like that so we're we're mostly worried about all this good fur here this this square area here that's going to be our most useful spot i'm going to go ahead we're going to do the face real quick while we're in while we got it this one here is how the ear cartilage removed. Some of them you'll get, um, usually a lot of local guys, they won't have the ear cartilage removed already, but you can you can take it out if you want, but if you're just hanging on the wall and stuff, it's not a huge deal. If you're if you wanna send it off, if you wanna if your fur buyer doesn't prefer that, um, if you if that's what the case is, then uh, you know you can remove them but it just all depends on who you're talking to and me when I when I tan hides here in the shop I won't normally pull the ear cartilage out myself because as it's drying I actually stand the ears up with some clothes pins uh, and those will those will help keep the ears perked up during the drying process so when I give it back to the customer the ears aren't Fold it over. Let's try to make the nicest product we can. Not a, definitely not a huge player in the game. As some of these larger guys are, you know, more, more machines, more equipment, more people. But you know what they say about once your business gets that big, it's just. You know, you also got more headache. <laughs> so I'm hoping to grow, but probably not that to that extent. We'll find out. There we go. Face is cleaned up. Uh, you just gotta kind of get in here. Sometimes there'll be little tendons, things up here at the front, clean out around the ears, nice and clean. There it is. 
I'll get a piece of there, we'll get it finished up, and that'll be a hat. Uh, these are going to be Mountain Man hats. It'll actually probably take two to three of them, actually. So stay tuned. We'll try and get them. We'll try and show you the whole process.